morning everybody it is monday morning and we just came back from the shops and we did our first ever vegan shopping haul so today we officially went for our first full grocery haul just vegan or like transitioning to vegan so we literally didn't buy any meat we haven't had meat for tea for three nights now. Jason actually hasn't had meat at all for three days where I have. I've been really bad. All Jason, in. I'm all in. Jason's so much better than me at this vegan transitioning thing at the moment. But I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what we are buying at the moment while we are transitioning to become vegan. I know there isn't a lot of food here, but we are slowly getting there. And also we've got a lot of food in our pantry and our fridge that we've already bought in the last few days start off with everything that we got from the health food shop now this is the biggest shop we have ever done at the health food shop normally we just get our yogurt covered fruit and that and that is about it we actually did get that which i've just discovered jason will probably have to stop getting these because they've actually got yogurt on them but anyway yeah but we just got some yogurt covered fruit and nut. I know it's not vegan guys, so I apologize. The first thing I'm showing you isn't vegan, but we're getting there. Um, so I think this is the only thing in our entire grocery haul that isn't vegan. What we got from the health food shop was just some Australian golden sultanas. Next, we got some mixed nuts. These just have like Brazil nuts, almonds, peanuts, cashews. Walnuts and hazelnuts in them, and I think they also have like cranberries in them. We also got some almond meal. I don't exactly know why we got it, but I think Jason got it for some reason. I don't know yet. And the last thing that we got from the health food shop was just some rolled oats. So everything at the health food shop cost us $29.20. Of our grocery haul, we actually went to Woolworths for it. And we were actually surprised on how much we didn't spend, considering how much we bought. So, first of all, we went to the canned section because, well, we have to buy lots of stuff in cans these days. So, we got two tins of chickpeas, got three tins of black beans because they were on special for like 84 cents. Um, and we're stocking up on these because we're going to obviously use them nearly every single day. So, we're stocking up on these for our pantry. Turns out I also got three tins of chickpeas. Got a tin of baby beet. We also got a tin of vegetable stock. Um, this is obviously gluten free too, um, which is obviously we need that in our household because Jason has celiacs. So we just got this because it um, has a lot of servings in it. So I just got some vegetable stock in the liquid form. Um, I'm pretty sure this is gluten free. It is gluten free, it says it on the front and it also says it is vegan. So some gluten free pasta, this is just the penny pasta. Um, we have been loving this pasta so we just got one box. I got some soups, so these were like, like my lazy lunches. Whenever I'm not feeling like cooking something, I can just get one of these out and just you know, pop it on the pan or in the microwave. It's got two pumpkin soups. They are dairy free, gluten free, and we checked and they're also vegan. They literally have like hardly any ingredients in them, which is really good. We also got some alternatives to cow's milk because we're slowly trying to um, use all our cow's milk so we can transition to alternatives. So today we got some soy milk. This is just the Vita Soy Soy Milky. Milky? Um, so we got that to try and we've also got the Almond Breeze um, almond milk which is unsweetened. So we also got that to try. Breakfasts, we got the Kez Kitchen Free Coca and coconut, I know it says cocoa, cocoa, and coconut. This is just like the muesli kind of granola kind of thing. It is gluten free and wheat free, and it is also vegan. It was on special, so that's why we also got it. Plus, we need to have something like this on like our smoothie bowls or whatever we want to have for breakfast. Other things that we got for breakfast or just in general cooking, we got some raw buck wheat. We've done so much research on this vegan, veganism. Is that the word veganism? Um, we've done a lot of research on this. So we've like found things that people are using for certain things. And basically a lot of people are using buckwheat 
over like oats. So we decided that we would get some and test it out. Also, this is really good in, you know, pancakes or whatever. So we decided to get some and hopefully it works out for us. So I got some black and white um, chia seeds. These are just typical chia seeds, nothing special to do with them. Also got some rice and quinoa protein blends. We love rice in this house and quinoa, but Jason said this is better for the stomach because it will help digest a little bit easier. So we got this. Also got some pipped dates because we've heard a lot of vegans um, say that pipped dates or just dates in general are really good for you. Um, I'm not a big fan of dates, but I'll have to get into them. I know Jason is a fan of dates. So that's mostly why we got them because of him. But we need to add these things into our diet because we are no longer having protein from meat. So we need to find a lot of other things that will give us protein. Before I get on to the little like two vegetables that we got today, um, I'm going to share with you guys the snack that we got today. So this is just the veggie deli crisps lentil chips we love these we've had these before and we will like devour the whole packet in one sitting like these are really 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 good and i'm really glad that we can still have them because obviously they're just made from lentils and they're so good for you guys only like fruit and veg that we got today was we got some lemons so we can have some lemon water in the morning jason's actually got a lemon um, in his water at the moment so he's having it with his lunch and we also just got a packet of Brussels sprouts because we need to add a lot of greens to our dinners and lunches so I just got a packet of Brussels sprouts and hopefully that will do us for a couple of days until we have to go do a veggie and fruit shop in a couple of days. So that is our grocery haul done but I wanted to share with you guys how much it cost us all up. Um, so the Woolworth shop was $68.59. So coming from us who used to eat meat or were eating meat like even last week, um, we are saving so much money not buying meat. Like we were even discussing it the other night on how much money we will be saving not eating meat. And I know we'll be buying a lot more like canned food, like the beans and the chickpeas and all that kind of stuff. But we're not going to buy that much that it's going to go over what we we're spending with me. But anyway, guys, this is everything that we bought today for our first ever vegan haul. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing what we bought and what we are going to be eating. We'll hopefully do a meal prepping or just a vegan um, meal recipe soon for you guys because I know you guys have been asking plus I think it will be interesting to show you guys what we are eating now that we're not eating meat. If anyone can give us advice on anything that we should try or that we should be doing with our vegan diets please just comment them down below because we are open for advice at the moment because obviously we are new to this but I hope you all enjoyed and I guess we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!